So now if I draw a different shape. If I do a loft in that shape, that shape, it's just going to go between the two shapes. So that's what this was doing here. It just went between the two shapes. That's not really, I wanted to more have more of the flare. And so, that's what these guide curves do. And it was sweep, we had guides, guide curves also that can help control the sweep. <clears throat> so if I pick that, I pick on those two guide curves. Now it's pulled, it, it pulled that edge there. fit those curves. So that you can get your guides to, to, to shape how it is between the two profiles. So on this one, if I wanted to, to kind of bow out in size, delete that. I do out, I'd have to do it on that side also. I so depending on what you do, these will have some effect. Um, but it's real picky on how you're doing the guides. And this is where the lofts and sweeps get real tricky. Because if you're doing something simple, it's a piece of cake. If you're doing something complex, more organic, you don't have as much control over it. So you kind of have to to use your guides and maybe use a few of them to get it to do what you want. So, I'm going to do one that's kind of like the one that we have back there. So we have this one. Perfect example of a lot. You've got one shape here and one size. Over here, we've got a different size, and it's not just up, but it's at an angle also. So, what would I want to do for that? I'd want to have a work plane there and a work plane here. Um, or if it's in the assembly, I've already got an assembly going. This would be a perfect example of something you'd want to use the top down on because you probably already have the piece here. And then you have the piece here, and then you can just make work planes on those other pieces to do it. Actually, I'll Here, what do I need? I need a work plane, right? How am I going to make that work plane? What do I need to have a work plane at an angle? Can you make it at an angle from the plane on the bottom? Yeah, I could if I found an edge over here or an edge here. So I knew how far that came over. I 
you how far that came from the center of this over to there. All right, I can measure that. So I want to say that was yeah, like that, right? And I'll edit the stick, make that up to four. Oh, it didn't change. What do I have to do? Probably didn't change the number, and it doesn't change. to it. You'd know what well, you know what angle it was. I can measure it. <coughs> but now I can draw on that plane. And I'd want to line it up with this one too, right? So how would I do that? extensions out. Uh, here I don't want all that, so I'm just going to draw a line back here somewhere. Here, this one I want to be three. And do some trim. There we go. So I've got that front piece. Now I can do my loft from here to here. And what happened there? It got twisted. It twisted. If I bring that corner over. But is that what I want? Feel it. Was in the curve. Yeah, you're ready, see? <laughs> Any of these curves, right? So how do I do that? Guide curves. Guide curve. No, we can't fill it that. Oh, okay. Yeah, these curves fill it, no problem. That curve, no, so leave that. Go back onto that plane. See, this time when I picked them, it went the same way. What was different about how I picked it this time? Point on the same side. Yeah, I picked on the same side. Before I had picked here and there. This time I picked the same side. So it's going to try and line up that green point with where you picked. 
I have my guide curve there set. Second one there set. Okay. Looks a lot better. Some fillets on it. using the loft command. Um, also that mirror that I did, that was a big loft all the way through. But when you have things like that, sometimes you get waves and you have to clean it up and stuff. But anytime you have going from one shape to another shape, loft is usually the best. Especially if you're changing the number of sides or, or the overall shape. It's the only way. Any questions on loft? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? No?